The Journal has been joined by Clifton Forge Mayor Jeff Urban here and we're at the Clifton Forge Dam here on Saturday, October 17, 2020. Welcome Mr. Mayor. Thank you. And it looks like we're nearing the end of about a four million dollar repair or renovation project uh, remediation, whatever you want to call it, of the Clifton Forge Dam. How do you think the project's gone, Mr. Mayor? I was up the other day, I think it's Wednesday, talking to the superintendent. He said everything's been going good. There were really no major setbacks, and he was about three weeks from completing the rest of it. And, uh, of course, the pesky press asked uh, the question that they were been a leak probably a minor leak on the right hand side of the dam as you look north um, been a little trickling but after four million dollars it does appear that that leak uh, has not been stopped no sir it, it not all together but it's been slowed way down and so that doesn't elicit uh, safety concerns that that wasn't really the reason even a small part of the reason why all this expenditure had to occur no, sir. I, I talked to the superintendent and asked him, uh, is there any any danger in the dam, or was it any danger in the dam? He said it, it probably never was. Most people in Clifton Forge, Mr. Mayor, probably don't understand that what we're looking at is what is termed the lower dam. But in fact, the water that is consumed by uh, citizens in Clifton Forge and Allegheny County actually comes from a portion that we can't see called the upper dam which is far smaller. Yes sir, we, we pull from the small dam almost all the time, maybe two, three times a year we pull from the larger dam. And, and apparently uh, according to uh, some of the personnel at the water plant, they're producing now a little bit less than a million gallons a day, but uh, prior to water meters they really have a capacity of more than two million gallons a day. Yes, sir. We right now, I guess, like he said, we were pulling uh, 800, 900 thousand a, a day when we can be pulling two, maybe two and a half million gallons a day. And and so the safety um, aspects of this project can be seen behind you, and there will be uh, a new walkway across the dam, as we understand. But with respect to water quality, this really has no effect on that whatsoever. No, sir. It didn't have anything to do with production or, or quality. Uh, the superintendent, when I spoke to him, he said he's worked on a many a dam in his days. And, and the water, and he said this is one of the most beautiful and sparkling water he's ever saw. And, and so what is going to happen uh, in the next few weeks? Will there be state and federal in inspections or what do you see is occurring in the next couple of weeks? Well they have to come in and like you say put the one piece walkway in. They're going to fix up around here in the drive driveway. Uh, we're still under consent from the DEQ I think and that will have to probably come in and inspect it and get us off that list. So well, the, the town has had grants and other financial assistance but all in all uh, it's is this pretty well viewed as a successful project yes sir i think it would be successful i mean we still had the small leak uh you know we slowed it way down and everything's safe no danger and we'll get off the consent from dec well thank you very much for joining us today it's a cool crisp day here uh, we just wanted to give the public a little feel for the, the nature of the project, uh, just taking a little bit of uh, views of the scene, and uh, we appreciate your time, sir. Thank you for having me.